Hannes, it's good to have you here in New Jersey. Uh, you participated in our Laboratories of Democracy initiative. Uh, why did you decide to join this program? I de decided to join the program because I'm both interested uh, in the main topic, with being uh, climate and energy, um, but also I'm interested much uh, or a lot in um, sharing experience uh, within different uh, perspectives from both um, different parties and also different sides of the Atlantic, which is uh, the aim or the uh, essence of this program. So you already mentioned it's a transatlantic program. Why are transatlantic relations in particular important to you? Why do you think an exchange across the Atlantic between German and US American state legislators is important? So in some sense, uh, Germany and the US are similar, meaning in terms of economic development, um, yeah, industry and things like that. But also they're quite different in terms of um, how serious uh, the parties approach climate change. But I think that we do have the same opportunities, the same chances, the same strength I with a from a te technological point of view. But um, from the government point of view, there's a lot we can learn actually from both sides. So uh, we can learn what problems, what um, fears can be and they can learn how yeah how good governance could work how how projects um, are implemented in Germany that they cannot imagine yet yeah. so this is our goal um, to learn from each other in this program can you give one example of what you are taking home personally from your visit to New Jersey here so something very specific that is um, for my university uh, back home in Germany um, I was racing for a 2030 pledge to get net zero. And um, part of that is assessment to all um, kinds of emission fields, so being buildings, being education or uh, teaching, being uh, business trips, everything. And something that I learned here is what Princeton University does, which, were, uh, which is one of the um, talks we heard, um, that they do a full life cycle analysis not only on the emissions, but also on the costs that comes with those emissions and the energy they take, the buildings take, and they only decide to build a building or to do specific, um, ma specific uh, renovation, for instance, um, if that pays back on both. And that's something that's easy to implement, and I don't know why, why everyone isn't doing it, is doing it. Thank you. One last question. So this is the second part of our program. We've been in Mecklenburg, Western Pomerania, first, which is your home turf. What do you think impressed the US legislators most when they came to Mecklenburg, Western Pomerania, especially when it comes to our focus topic, climate and energy? Um, I think that is the industry that's there. That's um, that we are able to make money out of that um, transition to renewable energies. So they saw that there are huge companies building, for instance, wind turbines and then that can be adapted to the US. And actually that's what we see happening. Not, sorry, not just because of our exchange, but it's also happening with this, um, I think 40 gigawatts of uh, offshore wind energy that New Jersey is pushing a lot uh, at the East Coast. So that's something they've seen, it works. It worked in Germany and it can be adapted for here and help changing to a net zero world, not just Germany, because um, that's a global thing to address. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being part of this. It has been great having you on, and I it's hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a very gr great pleasure to me to participate. Thanks a lot. Thank you.